Hey, it's Cher and welcome to the Style and Stewardship channel. If, so if you have any sort of health condition or health concern or maybe you've gotten a, a new diagnosis of something like PCOS or Hashimoto's thyroiditis or hypothyroidism or you're like me and you have um, some food allergy type things going on and intolerances and sensitivities, these are the things that we buy that work for our health and our wellness at this point in time. So I am sharing all of the things that we've gotten just this past week from Costco, from Sam's Club, and from Sprouts that make it easier to know what the heck are you gonna eat when someone tells you, you might wanna cut out dairy, or you might wanna cut out grains, or you might want to cut out gluten, or you may have sensitivities, all of the things that just sharing this with you hope in hopes that you'll feel a little less overwhelmed and you can see some essentials that you can start working into your diet at stores that may be around you if you have a costco or sam's or aldi i share from all of those different places but anything that i share if i can find a link for it elsewhere so that you know that there's an option for you if you don't have these stores i love doing that because it just cuts through some of the noise as to what you can eat or what will be best to support your health and your wellness right now. Okay, so today I'm going to be sharing what I got from Costco for the first part and then the second part is going to be Sam's Club. The third part is gonna be Sprouts, so stick around for that. But first up, let me just show you what I got from Costco. If you're curious as to what you can eat for breakfast, so say you are grain-free or you are um, gluten-free, these are some of the options that I picked up from Costco. I could not believe that they had these and I was so excited because they are super expensive everywhere else. I will put some screenshots Shots from different stores that I go to on a regular basis that these were so much higher and such a great price at Costco so if you have a Costco or you have a Costco membership pop into Costco because you will save a ton because it can get kind of expensive when you are getting some things that are kind of paleo or grain free or um, let me show you what I got so first up this cereal this is like takes me back to my childhood days of like cocoa pebbles but health but make it healthy right so this is the seven sundays cereal and uh, my son loved this so this has i'm gonna let you see the nutrition facts on that in case you are curious but the ingredients are so, so simple. And that's one of the things that I loved about this cereal. I've been eating this cereal for a while now, but I have never seen it at Costco. This giant bag, I believe was 10.89, but I'll put a picture or put what it was um, somewhere on the screen. So this is, it has 12 servings. So that is first up. The next cereal item, if you eat nuts and seeds and you don't have any issues with that this also has some freeze-dried strawberries and bananas in it but it doesn't have a bunch of added sugar as a matter of fact it only has four grams um, of sugar per serving which is really great for cereal so this again is that same brand and if you are curious as to the ingredients you can check that out but this is such a great option. If you want something like a granola, you can top some dairy-free yogurt or some dairy yogurt with this. This is really, really good. It's really crunchy. It's not gonna get soggy because it's basically a bunch of nuts and seeds and flax seeds and chia seeds and things like that. So this is a great option. I'll put the price on the screen for this one. Next up, I'm not kidding, there are two more bags in my pantry over the course of the last two weeks. Every time I go and it's still on sale, I pick up two additional bags. These are the Purely Elizabeth brand of granola. And when I say this is the best granola that I have eaten, I'm not kidding. And I've eaten a lot of granola. Um, my husband loves this, this is his favorite. This small bag is typically um, like nine or $10 at stores. And this one is one and a half pounds. Um, this was on sale for $5 and some change. So I picked up several bags of this. And again, the ingredients, you know, everything is super, super clean. These are so good. That is the Purely Elizabeth, and I've got two more bags in my pantry just over the course of the last two weeks, but I picked up two more because they were still on sale. So if you have a Costco and these are on sale, I would suggest picking up a couple of bags because the price is probably gonna go up very, very soon. And yeah, I think this is a great thing just to have on hand, so. 
Next up, if you have ever watched one of my Costco hauls, you know that this is an actual staple for us, an essential that we get um, every single week. It's about $10 in my area for this one, and it has two large bags um, within this. These are the Simple Mills Almond Flour Crackers, and these are just really, really great. I put these in my husband's um, protein box. I um, give these to my kid. We'll um, just use something like a guacamole cup, and we'll use these for like our chips and dip. Um, so Super, super good. You can also do like peanut butter or almond butter. <laughs> if you really like almonds, um, you could do that too. But this is one of the things that we get every single week. And can check out these ingredients. Next up, we have already opened these and kind of put them like over in like snacks and everything for the week. But RX bars, they were, these were also on sale for $12.99 for the entire box and I've never seen it that low so I went ahead and picked up these so these are the RX bars these are the ingredients that are in them we're getting 12 grams of protein for one of these bars which I think is really really good and it's going to balance out the sugars in here but the sugars are literally just from um, dates so that's a great option I mean you're getting some fiber in there some of the canned things that I got um, I got these because they were on sale and you know, if you're like, like you're wanting to up your omega threes and all of those things, um, it's an extra virgin olive oil, which is really hard to find. Um, but let me just say, my husband is like, mm -mm, heck no, it's I'm not eating that. Like I'm not eating sardines, so it's not gonna happen. So <laughs> if you were looking for an alternative to tuna, this would be an option for you. It comes with six cans, and the price was just really, really good. So these are Wild Planet, and it's the same brand that I use for our Skipjack Tuna. Um, so that is what it looks like, and there's nothing in it but sardines, extra virgin olive oil, water, and sea salt, and natural smoke. So my husband, again, he's like, heck no. He's like, I do a lot of things that you say that are healthy, but I'm not doing that. I'm not. <laughs> Another canned item that I got, I absolutely love these. These are our absolute favorite, favorite olives because the ingredients are amazing. I'll put the price on the screen. Um, these are the Lindsay large black olives and the ingredients are literally water and sea salt, which is super, super hard to find. And you know how olives, if it's not a good brand, they can be really waxy and feel really greasy and um, just be overly salty. These are perfect. Like I will eat these right out of the can. I'll usually put these on something like um, when I'm making tacos, I'll um, instead of getting those little tiny cans that are sliced of black olives, you can grab these and slice them up yourself and you will save to me a small fortune because those little tiny cans in the store that also have other ingredients you don't want in them will typically be about two dollars just for the little tiny ones of the pre-sliced black olives get this this will last you for quite a while and you do not have to worry about all the ingredients that you wouldn't want in there so and then again you're getting some healthy fats so i absolutely love theirs so next up i picked up some almond flour this is their blanched almond flour it's one of the best prices um, and this and the Bob's Red Mill are typically to me I bake with almond flour a good bit and I make um, muffins every single week and I use almond flour and coconut flour in those and this is just the best bang for your buck you're getting three pounds and the price is always really good and this is gonna last you a while so, since we don't eat a lot of other you know grain we eat a lot of potatoes so yellow potatoes are our absolute favorite and the price on these has gone up but it's just still such a really really good deal if i don't pick these up from costco i'll pick them up from aldi and aldi usually has them at a decent decent price too but this one is 10 pounds <laughs> so i'm talking about i make french fries um, in the air fryer with this mashed potatoes in the instant pot i make roasted potatoes pan potatoes breakfast hash all the things i'm just sharing the meat that i got from costco and I like to pick up their drumsticks because you get a triple pack and 
so it has three in this pack usually each like package will have like five or six within them and this is something that i love to get every single week it's the best price and if you're like me you don't want to spend a fortune getting you know that big pack of the um like the boneless skinless chicken breast and i get tired of meat that does not have the skin and the bone on it because that's where all the flavor is so i love to get that um, and i also use that in like my meal prep that i do for the week um, for my husband it's just such an easy easy way to get in some protein at a great price that is like one of the most economical things you can do is to get um, a cut that most people aren't going for most people are going after um, boneless skinless chicken breast um, boneless skinless thighs which are actually my favorite but if you want to bring that price down and still get a really really good quality meat that's my tip go for the legs um, you can always peel that off you can put it in the instant pot and you can do so many things that you can do with um, even chicken breast that you can do with the legs you can also make bone broth and all of those things so that is my tip for that and then this is a staple and an essential in our home so my kid eats this every single morning for breakfast i do too and i actually have this with um, a grain-free pancake that i um i make for us that we really really enjoy it's just great ingredients and for this giant bag it's 13.99 which kind of sounds like a lot when i'm saying it but the small pack that only has about nine or 12 in them costs about seven dollars so you are getting how many weights are in here 44 to 46 um, chicken sausage. Right, so next up, I'm sharing everything that I got from Sam's Club. And I like to have both of these memberships because Costco has a lot more variety when it comes to the types of things that we eat and the way that we eat. So it's easier to find gluten-free things there, paleo things there, grain-free, um, and things that are really important to me, like eating organic meat. Um, Costco just has a wider variety. Sam's Club has some great things too, and their gas, <laughs> that is why we um, actually joined there, because their gas prices just could not be beat. And after three months, it'll pay for um, the membership. So that is why we have both of them. And shout out <laughs> to my granny. I used to tease her all the time. I'm like, why do you have both of these memberships? And now I get it. So let's start with the things that are essential for us, and that are, that's these, um, guacamole cups you can also pick these up at aldi i love theirs also but um this one at sam's club was non-gmo and it has 16 two ounce mini cups and it's just a really really great deal um i want to say the one from aldi has about four cup four or five cups and it's just under four dollars so this just makes more sense for us since this is something that we eat on a weekly basis it's cheaper than the one that they actually have at costco so that's the guacamole then next up i've already boiled some of these for the week but i like their pasture raised um eggs and these are from sam's club this is their um, they're not organic but they're pasture raised which is actually better than organic because they're eating their natural diet um, these are so so good the yolks are so like golden and beautiful and you know that they are just a healthier um, egg so we really really like these and that also means that they're higher in omega-3s but I like a bone and skin oh, in my chicken <laughs> So these are the this for this giant pack it was six bucks and this is just the no antibiotic vegetarian fed um, so this is just an option if you don't eat organic or if you want to cut your bill down a little bit which that's kind of what I was going for this week so I went ahead and picked those up from Sam's Club and you get so many for this giant pack I also picked up their coleslaw mix. I like to do like an egg roll in a bowl in a bowl during the week. I want to say this was like three bucks for this giant bag. Of course, you could get a, a head of cabbage and do it yourself, but on busy nights, I sometimes I just don't want to take that extra step. And this is already prepped, and I like that it has. Um, it, you can just switch up the flavor with this. You can make an Asian style meal with this, like egg roll in a bowl, or you could do something like just sautéing it in like a little bit of um, olive oil or coconut oil is what I like to do add some herbs and some garlic and you can just have this as a side with like mashed potatoes and meatloaf which is something that i also do um pretty much every week so and then i picked up their bag of their bag of sweet potatoes 
these were um, GMO free and I just thought that it was a good deal. They all look really, really good. Um, I typically get these from either Costco or Aldi, but I did not even realize that Sam's had these, so I'll probably start getting it from there from now on. And I wanna say it was four bucks for this big bag. Sam's is their wild caught sockeye salmon, which I was really, really excited to find there. So I cannot wait to try these. I love these for a busy night to just um, thaw them really quickly, sit them in some warm water while they're still in the vacuum seal package. And then I will pop these in the air fryer and I put some sides with it. Sometimes, you know, just some sauteed some cabbage, that cabbage slaw. Um, sometimes I'll make actual coleslaw with that. And it's just a really, really easy meal and like a baked potato and dinner is done. So last up, I'm sharing everything that I got from Sprouts, which has been such I love going in that store because you're going to find things there that you really don't find other places, especially the produce. I absolutely love it. To me, it's like a smaller Whole Foods, and since I don't have a Whole Foods in my area, I love going here. Um, they also have just some items that are really hard to find anywhere else. Like, it's really hard to find something like this. So these were organic cherries, and I want to say this, this bag right here was about three dollars because they were marked down they're usually like five dollars or 5.99 a pound for these and i got this entire bag for about four dollars cherries obviously antioxidants amazing for you for so many different reasons i'll put some of the benefits on the screen but i cannot and then it's also a product of the usa which i think is great some golden beets and instead of regular ones just because i'm probably going to eat some of these raw these are that's what they look like Obviously, I have to give them a good scrub and everything, but these help your body to create nitric oxide and natural option to just boost nitric oxide in your body. I'll put some of the benefits on the screen, but I can't wait to try these raw because I haven't had these raw yet. So I picked up some dandelion greens and my I have been making this recipe in my Instant Pot for collards and I've been making it once a week because it's so good. Collars are obviously really excellent. Vitamin A, vitamin K, so many other things. I'll put the benefits on the screen. But these were organic and I also use these. Um, oh, I have to say these were $1.99 a bunch, which I think is excellent. I also use this to create a chicken salad sandwich wrap. So instead of like using um, bread, I use a collard. I will link to the video of how I do that. Um, but that is, I mean, this is such a great price for these. The next thing I got was, we love some siete in this house. So I got the sea salt um, siete chips. These are just the kettle cooked chips and then um, the dairy free queso chips. I eat these, my husband eats these and he says that they taste nothing like cheese but he said that they taste amazing. So these are his favorite and these are my favorite. We also like the sea salt and vinegar. Um, my husband and my son both love, they're delicious. Um, but these are the two that I got this week. Their meat, which I really, really love their produce and their meat and that's mainly what I go there for. So these are pasture raised which is better than organic because they're in their natural environment. And I got two packs of their wings, which are a great price. So there's the first pack, $4.72. The second pack, also the same price. And then I got a pack of their boneless, skinless chicken breast. And two of them, you see the price, they were $9.19 and these are pasture raised and for that price i just think it's absolutely amazing so love sprouts for their produce for their meat and then for other things that you can't really find other places so i absolutely love sharing what i get from the grocery store again this is how our family eats this is what works best for us you can eat in whatever manner that you like i love sharing grocery hauls just to give you just a little um encouragement with what to pick up so if you have a special diet and you're like what the heck do i eat i love sharing videos like this so you can see some other options options that are, avail are available to you and if there's anything that you have a question about of where you can find something if you don't have Costco I'll link things like the um, almond flour and the cereals that I picked up I'll try to find any of these things online if I can just so you have that option it's just a great way to know like okay when I go into the grocery store I know you know these things if they're available I can eat this and that takes such 
Um, that takes a lot of the headache out of what are we gonna eat, what can I eat now if you've been diagnosed with something. Until next time, your life matters, what you do with it matters, so what will you steward well? Peace.